Hello, my friends, and welcome back. This is the latest from Netrunner. Now, Netrunner is celebrating uh, 10 years, so happy birthday to Netrunner OS. You can get more information here at netrunner.com. Uh, this is featuring the very sharp uh, Plasma KDE Plasma desktop. This is the desktop version, as you see here, and it looks like they are running uh, Debian stable. Very good. All right, let's get out of this and see what we have here. Uh, just to let you know, if you are new to this, you do not have to use the terminal commands to install software, so don't get scared of using something like this. It's been a complete joy testing Ubuntu-based systems. I have to be honest, uh, it's no wonder that Ubuntu is, yeah, really the king of the Linux distros, at least in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this. This is the default desktop. I move the panel from the bottom to the top, as you see here. Let's go ahead and right-click, and let's go to Configure Desktop. Um, only three wallpapers. Okay, not a lot, but really, how many do you need, right? I think I'll leave this uh, the way it is. You have some other options here. Mouse uh, actions, location, icons, filter, tweaks, and yeah, I'll just leave that the way it is. Again, the KD desktop, the Plasma desktop, uh, highly, highly customizable. Let's go to add widgets. And I usually test this by dragging the clock over there and maybe something else. What shall we do? Oh, let's go with the simple calculator. And you have to hold this with the left key, left click of the mouse, hold it. And then you can move it over like that and you can resize these two. But uh, for now, I think I'll just leave this the way it is so you, you get the idea. All right, so there is a panel. Uh, you can... Uh, configure the panel if, if you so choose to the uh, screen edge you can move this up or down the height again if, if you've if you've uh, messed with KDE plasma before uh, no surprises here uh, yeah it just works it, this is basically just it's Linux that just works why don't we um, you can hit the super key by the way to get through this type of launcher uh, let's go to let's go ahead and right click the launcher here Let's go to Alternatives, again, the Application Dashboard, Application Launcher. Let's go to take a look at that. Okay, let's right-click again, and I have one favorite. I believe it's coming up here. And, uh, yeah, I kind of like this. So if you're coming from a Windows environment, you might find this a little bit easier to use. Of course, you can change it again if you want to. Alternatives, Simple Menu and there you go maybe this is easier for you I don't know so let's get and see what is all installed here let's go back and we'll go to application menu and we'll click it again some games actually quite a few games uh, burger space oh man here we go with food again on the channel chess frozen bubble gltron and some others here very good looks like steam is in there for gaming nice graphics the GIMP, very good. I use that occasionally. Inkscape, Krita, and Scan Light. Internet, all right. Firefox, KDE Marble, Pigeon, Q Transmission, ah, Skype, and Thunderbird, two applications I use. Very good. Multimedia, audacious. Now, now here, here is a group of people with, <laughs> with intelligence using a lightweight, the best lightweight music player. Again, it's my opinion. Very good. Audacious. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always enjoyed this. Now, this one looks like it's been modified. It's been skinned. Boy, that is not the Audacious that I use, but okay. Whatever. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, cheese, Handbrake I use. Caden Live. Very good. The excellent Pulse Audio Volume Control. And what else do we have for multimedia? Yay, Rock. Uh, scan the music. It looks this like this looks like it's to be a simple music player. Of course, I'm testing this and by, by the way off a live USB and it's running very very zippy. Very good. Okay, Office, the usual LibreOffice suite settings. Let's go to uh, oh, App Image Launcher settings. Interesting. Let's go to System Settings and the whole bunch here to the left. Very nice. If you've played with Plasma before, again, this comes as no surprise. Let's go to Plasma Tweaks, and we have Breeze, Breeze Dark, Netrunner Black, Netrunner Desktop, Netrunner Indigo. Uh, let's go to Breeze Dark. Why not? There we go. Look and feel, Desktop Theme, Effects. 
Wow, a whole bunch. Widget style. Decorations. Splash screen. Go to cancel. No, I don't want to change that. Cursor theme. Oh, enough! It's like it's stuck there, huh? This, this, all right, let's go ahead and get out of that. Icons, widget style, gnome applications. Okay, as you can see here, again, I think you get the picture. Display, no problem. Booting up to a normal resolution for my 39 inch TV screen. All right, let's get a right click and get out of that. Let's see what else we have. Utilities, Suzy Studio Image Writer. Very good. Okay. And let's see what else. Ah, Voco Screen is installed, a screen recorder. I did not know that. I would have used this instead of installing Simple Screen Recorder. But I've always liked Simple Screen Recorder. It's never let me down. So, and let's see. Anything else catches my eye here? Nope. Web. Hook Tube. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I just had a different thought. Okay. Hook tube, huh? Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Be quiet. Especially you, Vince. <laughs> a lightweight YouTube. And yeah, they call it hook tube. Oh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> Vince is going to laugh at this one. Ah, Skype, Telegram, and WhatsApp. Very good. Help. And power session, the usual. Uh, let's take a look at the monitor here. Using one and a half gigs with a recorder, not bad at all. 11% CPU. Again, this is running very, very nice. Well done, Netrunner. And my favorite package manager, the Synaptic Package Manager. Th this was the very, very first package manager for Linux I was ever exposed to back in 06 with Ubuntu. So thank you, Ubuntu. And let's see, I think that's it. Of course, the Dolphin File Manager, a highly customizable file manager. One of the best, for sure. Well, you know what? This is something that, it's Linux that just works. So yeah, check it out. I will have a link for this uh, below in the show notes. But uh, yeah, I've always had a Always had good luck testing this in the past, so really cannot complain at all. So good job, Netrunner, the latest Netrunner for 2020. If you have any thoughts or questions about uh, this, post your questions below in the comments. But Netrunner OS is, um, yeah, I'll just call this Linux that just works. So as usual, I will not edit this test. This is one of those. Another one is what you see is what you get. So hopefully your test will be as good as mine. Let me know and I'll catch you on the next one. Arrivederci.